so it has come to this. Good men, torn from their kin, to rage and spill the blood of other men's foes. But we will not be forgotten. shall be known, even when our bones are dust scattered on the wind. <sighs> and our names will inspire the mighty to rise. Alright, hey guys, Jaden here, and today we will be starting a new series playing through a Total War Saga TROY, in all caps for some reason. I've already gone through and ran a few of the benchmarks to uh, dial in my settings before starting. If you'd like to see those settings or the results, they will be in the description down below. I have played a few of the uh, Total War games and really enjoyed them, but I've never played one of the Total War Saga games, so I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Alright, so... As I've never, it's been a while since I played a full war game. I'd probably try for one that has a easy starting situation. Although I am leaning towards uh, Achilles, because you know who doesn't know who Achilles is? Like the legend of the the Trojan War. So I think we'll actually uh, we'll give him a try for this first playthrough. Never in campaign difficulty. We'll just leave these on. Uh, normal for now. I, I assume it's something you can probably change. So Achilles perks are he is a living legend, so the the more feats you accomplish, the uh, less it costs to upkeep your units and the more influence you have. However, he will be challenged to duels fairly often, it sounds like. And he's hot blooded. So his stronger armies but reduced economic efficiency. Um there's grieving, increased divine favor and experience gained for units, but reduced happiness. And I, w I wonder if these are like things you can choose. Is because this one says increased economic efficiency, but this one reduces economic efficiency. That makes it sound like they might balance out if they're both a thing. I guess we'll, we'll see. Recommended play style, speed and maneuverability. Okay, unique units, marines. Runners, two-handed spear infantry, swordsmen, and uh, javelinmen. This is just a description of who he is. Plus four melee attack to all units when attacking, and minus five to morale of all enemy units. So I I do think he seems like a a good. Oh, you can choose. There's also Trojans. I'll finish this I think uh, Achilles will be a good first playthrough. And given he is hot-blooded, I think we will uh, we will take a conquest route. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. That's some interesting makeup for 
what is considered the most beautiful woman to have ever lived in mythology. Helen's That's why she's flight stolen. was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy. Just as the gods intended. <laughs> Wonder if the Myrmidons are uh, strong units. Oh, swift footed Achilles. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction, and that is war. Brother. Your foolish passion has doomed us. That's an interesting King aspect Adam ratio they, of high they forced Mycenae onto the campaign. Yeah. Must avenge this insult to his brother. You are the ultimate warrior, king of Thea, and commander of the Myrmidons. Glory in battle is my god-given fate. Your ally, King Lycomedes, rules the Isle of Skiros. As a boy, you were sheltered in Lycomedes' court on your father's command. Now you must protect the old king in turn. Heed both threats from enemies like the Elopeans, and opportunities that come your way through friends such as prosperous King Oelius and his son Ajax the Lesser. The independent Thessalians could be a bulwark for your western flank. Or Keep your courage, lion-hearted Achilles, for you know well that fortune favors the bold. Now they play Phythia. Achilles is governed by his powerful emotions. Yes. All right. The enemy sends their warriors against you to ravage your lands and sack your cities, but perhaps they underestimate your strength. March out, engage them in battle, and put them to flight. Sounds like a plan. Overall, this seems kind of uh, overwhelming to start with. It seems like there's things to each direction. The Elopians have advanced with their forces. Do not threaten your lands and the livelihood of your people. March out with your army and defeat them in battle. Alright, right click to move or attack with the selected army. Cool. So this is our army. Achilles, the champion. Where are the Elopians though? These are the Elopians. Yes. Left click to inspect. I we know nothing that. about him. And we are this ant. Because what is more noble Beyond than an ant? Man. Okay, we're gonna attack him. Oh yeah, so looks like our balance, we are favored, and there is no divine support currently. We're going to fight this battle. Um, looking at some of the reviews for this game, it sounds as if the sieges are quite dull, so we will definitely play through at least a few of those, but we may move to auto-resolving those later on. But all the uh, not sieges, the the battles was army against army will be played through. I think that is the uh, best part of the game. These don't seem unfavorable. Your warriors stand ready to serve. They only await your orders. There's a bottleneck right here. There's a bottleneck right here, up here, and over here. Over here is a really tight bottleneck. If we could ensure that these would go that way, we could try and use it to our advantage. However, it seems as if they would uh, they would handily beat us there. Um, we can have our ranged units wait back here until later on and come up on here so they have a cliff between them and the enemy, at least a slight cliff. If we have any ranged units, we have one thing of javelin men, young spears, um, light swordsmen, runners, which I assume are the, uh, the f 
fastest. And the champions of Phythia, as well as Achilles, obviously. Um, we will try and keep these guys hidden originally. We'll have them hide up here so they can. We'll, try, we'll make a staging ground up here. We'll have most of our units up here, and then we'll have a couple units hidden back here, and we'll wait for them to come down. So, the javelin men, we want to be. We want the javelin men to be up here. So, and so you can right click and drag to choose the shape that they will be. We're gonna we're gonna actually move them back first though, so that they are still in the trees. We'll have them rather wide so that they can. Uh, are they mean narrow? I don't know if it'll matter or not, but we'll have the swordsman in the middle right here with four ranks. We'll have the champions to their side to protect the flank. They're facing the wrong way. Hey, that was a bad, a bad way to draw them. Doesn't go right here. And then the uh, so the javelin men are hidden still. And then the runners are fast. So we'll put the uh, the spearmen over here. Well, assuming the runners are fast, we'll put the spearmen over here so that they're hidden. And we will put the uh, the runners over here so that they are also hidden. And we'll see how this goes. This is my favorite aspect of the game, if I haven't already mentioned that. We'll put Achilles, um, where did I put the... I just put the champions, the champions, somewhere. The swordsman over there. The run the spears are over here. Where are the runners? Okay, so I don't I don't know how those they ended up. I must not have deselected them. And Achilles will be right here. Alright. Well, let's start this battle and see how it goes. Your heroes all have their own unique skills and advantages. Pay close regard to these attributes and let them stoke their rage, ready to unleash their abilities on the enemy. So that's his. I don't know what it is. Powerful bonuses. Okay, well. I don't know what Achilles is. Oh, it's over here. Vanquish. It takes 15 seconds. It affects the allies in range. And gives them a charge bonus and 20% speed bonus. So it looks like the enemy actually isn't uh, advancing. Yeah. So they might be waiting on us to advance. So they have slingers, spears, uh, light swordsmen, and Spearman, we will uh, try and we'll fast forward and see if it looks like they're gonna stay. So we're gonna pause the uh, the issue commands because I am I'm rather slow generally. So we're gonna put the light swordsman. We're gonna have them. Walk over to here and hold this this area. I'll we'll have the uh, champions go next to them to hold this area. There appear to be fewer of them, but this should be. We'll put them in the rank of three rather than four. To cover the gap. The runners will actually go over here, try and stay hidden. Um, 
I'll go over to behind here for now. Just to stay behind this rock. And the the young spears will also will join them over there. There are a lot of spearmen. I suppose it tells you there's 180. Um, Javelinmen will come to this area because once they engage, they'll move out from here and stand up here and fire down upon them. And Achilles will move to over here to be with his men. All right, so we will go forward. We'll slow it down as they near the their enemy positions. enemy holds the high ground. To rush in when they have such an advantage. Okay, so we shouldn't rush in. Clearly. That's what I said. So we'll send these guys forward. Um, and then have them retreat. So fall back here. Where they will have advantage I think is what we'll try and do um, yeah because it looks like they're trying to they're planning on holding that gap uh, no you start let's just stay over here we'll come with over here This might be risking disaster. As the advisor would say. Okay, so the fighting has started. I believe these guys should be relatively okay. not putting much effort into so that they're not sending their guys down still death so comes from above like the arrows of Apollo again, to pull these have your warriors take hopes, cover from the enemy missiles or else seek they out file. these guys can come up here and we'll actually leave them down here for now and then we will send these guys. They seem to be the fastest so far. So the runners will, well, these guys, the spearmen, run in and attack these spearmen. So nobody followed these guys, which kind of surprises me. Oh, the spearmen, the, the runners can throw? Sword and shield infantry, what are they throwing? Your we'll warriors are losing heart. Okay. Your foe attacks your flank. Drive them off. But they are now following, so that's good. I'm sacrificing men to uh, makes me feel kind of bad. Oh. They're not all being followed, though. They're not all following. <sighs> so, 
We'll move these guys forward to. Understood. This is not going how I was hoping it would. I tried to outthink them. Only I couldn't because I'm not. Have them, get these guys kind of flank around and attack here while these guys attack. Okay, once he gets the, his allies in range, we'll do the vanquish. As the battle progresses, the hero's rage grows. Your hero is under attack. Well, good, because he's pretty strong. We'll have the runners back. We'll have See the enemy break like reeds before the storm. As they flee, cut the curse down. These guys near you. Probably should have kept them on the other side to have them seek around, sweep around from the other direction. And try and have them. Have the runners take care of them. These guys can. The swordsmen. One of your units guys. has no more ammunition. I don't see any enemy units. Like I do, but. Have them reform ranks. We'll have them do this again. And then we'll have these guys collapse on this dude. This group. These ones are have the javelin and they're still breaking. Have them come up to here. To try and have some flanking momentum. Them switch over to these spearmen who are yeah, because that would make them break. And these switch over to these swordsmen. I did not the want to click there. is a hero's finest moment. This godlike transformation comes but once per battle, turning the chosen warrior into a near unstoppable fighter of consummate skill. Only but Zeus only grants boons like this to the truly worthy. Your warriors have been routed. Okay, they should. We need to. Uh, if they gain. So Achilles is still pretty, uh, well. They're still breaking the Youngsters. With a name like Youngsters, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. 
Your warriors are rallying. Good. This guy, their leader, these guys can actually change them. Achilles can come and change this kiss. And these guys can come down here just to hold this line in case any return. But I don't think that's an issue. That needs to be based. is close enough to taste. And now they yes. Strike him down in single combat. Don't you know who I am? You're no, strike him died. down in single combat. Straight up, I'm not gonna let you. Javelin. We're not ending the battle until that dude's down. Well, if that's an option. It should be. No challenger will survive my spear. Oh, no, Achilles. Bring it on. Spill their you guts. Take him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good hit. You Train don't stand a chance. Call that an insult. Onward. They will outpace him, hopefully. Let's get to it! For glory! Come on, Achilles, I know this is what you do. You're one of the greatest greatest warriors. Don't you know who I am? Even your insults are pathetic! Combat ready! They're not trying too hard to take him. Have them come like way down here. Come on. Come on. Wipe them out. I did your godlike transformation. He has a very long spear. It's a very gold. Yeah. Come on. Hades. There you go. I don't know what Cadmian. Oh, that's cost you. This is like a Pyrrhic victory. That's what they do for the, uh, in the other games. You know what? We deployed 751, lost 417. Percentage wise, I think we did better. And they had way more warriors. So many more. Like, and we have more remaining. It's, it's not fair. They have the options to barter them. Um, we can spill all their bloods. The hatred of their masters will grow. We we'll left this gives us more morale if we spill their blood, or we can take them on. Uh, I think we'll take them on because we are very uh, weak. We did lose a lot of people, so we didn't lose any javelin. Keep together. And we completed our first quest. That's cool. New recruits can be trained to build up your forces and replace we warriors lost units, in battle. We have six. This will be a long war, and your adversaries gather in strength. You would be wise to look to your own armies in response. I think it'd be good to have some more javelin men. They seemed quite useful. The runners as well, perhaps, since they're a ranged unit, but the fact that I didn't even realize they're a ranged unit does not make me like them a whole bunch. Alright, so a portentous battle. Yeah, that's great. Okay, and we killed him. Made sure to. 
Victory was never in question. Yeah, so we're gonna send Achilles a back to Pedalon. Pedalon? Because we would definitely lose a fight right now. We'll stay here a while. And this way we can try and uh, recruit more people. So, which we're gonna do. We can. So these are just upgrades for the city itself. We have to click on him to add local recruitment. So there's slingers. Um, the spearmen. We didn't, do we even have any regular spearmen? No, we do. Because we had youngsters, which are two-handed spearmen. They have poor defense, but they have a good charge. Um, so we can recruit more of them, or militia. Militia seems like a weak light swordsman. I think the spearmen would be better overall. They cost 105 food. And, well, their upkeep is 105 food and they cost 523. While we currently have 2442 food, we're making 4,000 food a turn. So let's get two slingers, I think, and two spearmen. I agree. We are, uh, so we need to recruit six more. Um, slingers will give us more range. Spearmen will give us a better front line. And it's like, I believe these are charred, like, shock units, kind of like cavalry are in the uh, other games. So I'll grab another one of those, and we are out of food. That ran out faster than I thought. But we're making 2,000 per turn, so next turn we can just add one more to this list. And that will allow us to recruit some more units. Um... And that will be our first turn. So, see if anything happens on the other players' turns. These are all controlled by AI. Uh, I don't believe there's even any multiplayer in this game currently. Brute strength alone and will not it runs through it pretty war. fast. Issue a decree ordering your finest minds to research so new methods research. of warfare, lest others overtake you. All right. So. I think that looks like a good stopping point for today's episode. We will start our next episode by issuing this decree. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any suggestions down below. And I will see you next time on Total War Troy.